Are you curious about Kali Linux and what it can do? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you a full guide on Kali Linux so that you never have to ask about it again. I'll cover everything from what Kali Linux is, how to install it, and some of its most powerful features. This video is tailored for beginners. If you consider yourself more advanced, feel free to skip this one. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos where we'll cater to your expertise with more advanced content. Alright, let's dive into the world of Kali Linux, the go-to playground for digital forensics, penetration testing, and all things security. Crafted and maintained by Offensive Security, these guys know their stuff. Built on the Debian Linux platform, it's highly customizable, allowing users to tweak it according to their needs. Kali Linux comes loaded with a comprehensive set of hacking tools, making it convenient for hackers without the hassle of manual installations. Making it a powerhouse for scanning networks, assessing vulnerabilities, and even breaking passwords. If you're curious about why hackers prefer Kali Linux, I've got a dedicated video on that. Feel free to check it out once you're done with this one. Link will be in the description. It's a deep dive into the reasons behind Kali's popularity among the hacking community. Now, when you're gearing up for penetration testing or hacking experiments, you've got to create a safe space, a virtual environment. For Linux heads, VirtualBox or KVM works like a charm. Windows users, you've got VMware Player or Windows Virtual PC. And for MacOS, Kimu or Parallels are solid choices. For beginners, I'd recommend keeping it simple with VirtualBox or VMware. They're easy to install and user-friendly. In this video, I'll walk you through setting up VirtualBox for your virtual playground. Now you might be wondering, why bother with virtualization? Well, my friend, there are a few good reasons. First and foremost, it keeps you on the right side of the law. Ethical hacking is the name of the game, and that means playing by the rules. Virtual environments let you test your skills without causing havoc on any live systems. Secondly, it's your shield against malicious attacks. With a hypervisor, you can browse the wild west of the internet without worrying about infecting your main operating system. And thirdly, it's your sandbox. Break stuff, experiment, learn without the fear of wrecking your actual system. Hacking tools can be finicky, and accidents happen. In a virtual box, you can push the limits without consequences. So, buckle up, set up your virtual machine, and let's explore the endless possibilities of hacking in a safe and controlled environment. In this section, we will guide you through installing Kali Linux on a virtual box via virtual images. Let us jump right in and delve into the installation steps. Step 1. Get your hands on VirtualBox. If you don't have it already, you'll need to download and install it on your computer. No need to worry, the process is a breeze. Regardless of your operating system, it's just a few clicks or commands away. If you're rocking Windows, here's the drill. Head over to the Oracle VirtualBox web page. Snag the latest version available. Easy peasy making the installation process as smooth as butter. Let's get this virtual Kali Linux party started. Windows users also can download VMware Player and install it. The difference between VirtualBox and VMware Player is subtle. Both are virtual machines and run on the top of your existing operating system. For VirtualBox, you need to have an ISO image to install any operating system. For VMware Player, you need to have a specially designed VMware version of the operating system. Great, now that you've got VirtualBox downloaded, let's get it up and running. Once you download the installer, just double-click on it to install VirtualBox. Just follow the usual steps for installing any basic application. Click where you need to click, accept those terms the usual drill, and let the installer do its thing. Keep an eye out for any additional settings that might pop up during the installation. Sometimes, there are a few customization options. With that done, VirtualBox is now cozy on your machine. Here's the beauty you don't need to worry about installing operating systems in it. Nope. All you need is some disk space to allocate and set up the base memory. Alright, let's break down the steps for installing Kali Linux in VirtualBox like we're having a casual conversation. Hey, to get Kali Linux up and running in VirtualBox, head over to the official Kali Linux website. Once you're there, Hit the download button. Now, it's decision time. We're looking to set up a virtual machine, right? Cool. 
you'll see an option for installer images. And there's another option for virtual machine. Click on that. Kali Linux has got you covered with VMware and VirtualBox Perfect for those who dig virtual installations. Now, here's the lowdown. Kali Linux is a bit hefty, around 3 GB. Keep that in mind. You can snag the Kali Linux for weak. So for now, just hit that VirtualBox button. If you're into other virtualization platforms, no worries. Just pick what suits your fancy. Easy, right? Just a couple of clicks and you're on your way to Kali Linux goodness. All right, now let's get that Kali Linux goodness out of the archive. Simple right click on the downloaded file. Hover over extract here and give it a click. There you go. Time to integrate Kali Linux into VirtualBox. Follow these steps. Open VirtualBox. Click on the Add button. Navigate to the file you downloaded or extracted and select it. Boom, it's added. But if you're feeling a bit tweaky, hit the Settings button. Customize to your heart's content. I'm keeping it simple, just adjusting the base memory. Click on System, add what you need like this. Hit OK. And just like that, we're done. All right, we're in the home stretch. After adding Kali Linux, just hit Start. Now, grab a snack or a coffee because it's going to take a minute. Voila! Kali Linux is up and running. Username and password. Kali for both the username and password. There you have it. Your gateway to Kali Linux is now wide open. Let the exploration begin. Time to go big. To make it full screen, just click on view up here. Now hit full screen mode and voila, there it is. All right, let's keep Kali Linux up to date with a refresh. Updating to Kali Linux is a breeze using the apt-get command line utility, the trusty package manager for the Debian Linux distribution that forms the backbone of Kali Linux. Here's the step-by-step -step guide. Open a terminal window and kick things off with sudo apt-get update. Once the package index is updated, take the next step with sudo apt-get upgrade. This ensures all installed packages are brought up to their latest versions. It will take time. After the package upgrades are done, tidy up and clear some space with sudo apt-get auto-remove. Say goodbye to any obsolete packages that are just taking up space. And for the final touch, clean up the package cache with sudo apt-get clean. This removes any downloaded package files that are no longer needed, giving your system a refreshing cleanup. All right, let's delve into setting up proxy chains in Kali Linux. Before diving into the intricacies of proxy chains, let's first grasp the concept of proxies. Instead of exposing our scans directly from our IP address to a website, we employ a proxy server as an intermediary. 
This way, if the website owner detects and flags our scans, they'll only see the IP address of the proxy server, not ours. However, we need to be cautious. The website owner might escalate the issue to law enforcement, who, during an investigation, could trace the proxy server's IP address. So, what's our move? We have two options. First, we can use multiple proxies, forming what we call proxy chains. This involves routing our scans through various proxies, enhancing our anonymity. However, free online proxies are often unreliable. Now, here's the second and recommended option. Leveraging Tor with proxy chains. This adds an extra layer of complexity, making it challenging to pinpoint our location. Let's delve into setting up and using proxy chains with Tor. To start, configure proxy chains to suit your needs. Open its configuration file with the command sudo nano slash etc slash proxychains for conf. Now, there are four main modes dynamic chain, strict chain, round robin chain, and random chain. Since we're using Tor, the mode doesn't significantly impact us. For clarity, dynamic chain chains proxies in the specified order, skipping non-responsive ones. Strict chain ends the connection if a proxy fails. The random chain, as the name suggests, selects a proxy randomly. It really doesn't matter which mode we're using for Tor, so you can just leave it on the default mode if you want. Next, make sure that this option of proxy DNS is uncommented as is it hides our DNS requests, preventing our location from being revealed through DNS leaks. And under the proxy lists heading is where we have the default configuration already set to Tor, which is basically our loopback address binded with the onion port of if we were not using Tor. This is also where we'll be adding the list of our proxy servers. You can see examples of how to put them right here. Now, save and exit the file. Before using proxy chains, start the Tor service. If you don't already have Tor installed, type in sudo apt install Tor. To install it, sudo service tor start. Ensure tor is active by typing service tor status. Once confirmed, we're ready to use proxy chains. Simply type proxy chains your command. For example, to run Firefox, proxy chains Firefox. Through the proxy server that you specified in the configuration file, allowing you to conceal your IP address and protect your anonymity. Alright, let's talk about changing your password in Kali Linux. It's a straightforward process using the password command. Here's your step-by-step -step guide. Open up a terminal window. Type in this command and hit enter. Password. First, you'll be asked for your current password, and it is Kali. Go ahead and type it in, then press enter. Now it's time to set a new password. Type your fresh password, press enter, and then confirm it by typing it in again. Your password is now successfully changed. Keep in mind that Kali Linux uses a superuser account, so you might need to perform these steps with superuser privileges using sudo if you are not already logged in as the root user. sudo password. Follow the same steps and you'll be all set with a brand new password. Now, let's take a moment to explore some of the powerful tools available in Kali Linux. I won't dive into practical demonstrations this time, but I'll give you a brief explanation of each. I'll give you a quick rundown of these powerhouse tools. Information gathering. InMap. Unleash it to scan networks and discover hosts and services. ReconNG. Your go-to open source reconnaissance framework for gathering intel. Web application analysis. Burp Suite. A versatile platform for all things web app security scanning, crawling, and analysis. Password attacks. John the Ripper. If you need to crack passwords, this one's your friend. Hydra. Fast, flexible, and your go-to for password cracking on various protocols. Wireless attacks. AircrackNG. The Wi-Fi assessment suite for securing and assessing networks. 
Reaver. Perfect for a little brute force action on Wi-Fi protected setup WPS. Wifite. Your go-to for automated wireless attacks, cracking web, WPA, and WPS keys. Exploitation tools. Metasploit framework. The powerhouse for penetration testing and exploiting vulnerabilities. Searchsploit. A command line search tool for exploit database, helping you discover and analyze exploits. Forensics tools. Autopsy. The digital forensics platform you need with a user-friendly graphical interface. Social engineering tools. Social engineering toolkit set. Simulate those social engineering attacks with ease. Reporting tools. Multigo. A powerful tool for link analysis and data mining your secret weapon for turning information into actionable intelligence. These are just glimpses into Kali's arsenal. Remember, use these responsibly and always within legal and ethical boundaries. I trust your journey into Kali Linux has found its starting point here. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'm here to assist you. For more private conversations, catch me on Twitter with this username. And if you're eager to explore free ways to delve into the art of hacking, click on this video and dive in.